In 2022, Russia invaded Ukraine, and as a result, not only were the lives of many impacted forever, but Antonov saw their iconic AN-225 destroyed. I had the opportunity to speak with Antonov directly, thanks to United24, who made this exclusive piece possible. Despite the destruction of the only AN-225 airframe, Antonov have expressed interest to restore, where possible, the aircraft, this done through usable parts, while also being forced to build than the most part a new airframe. Antonov says that this process can only be achieved through calculating experimental design works and identifying key supply chain partners to secure components for the aircraft. They say this has already begun, further noting that work can only truly begin once the war concludes. The manufacturer says this would be from beginning to end take around three years, although that is subject to change given potential roadblocks that may be incurred. Such a decision to restore the AN-225 also presented questions such as why. Antonov says the plane is unique in being the largest transporter in the world. No other company, therefore, can transport such sizes and amounts of cargo on their aircraft. It's truly a specialty of the skies, not just visually, but also for its purpose. As such, there's only one true marvel capable of completing such missions, and that is the AN-225. Without that, the aviation industry isn't really the same, and Antonov agrees. As such, with a new aircraft coming into the field, questions also arise over whether additional improvements will be found on the new airframe to make it more efficient. Antonov can reveal that the engines will remain the same, using Ukrainian-made D-18T engines, which were installed on the only model. For other components, discussions with suppliers, which are already underway from the United States, Europe, and Asia, will determine the direction and feasibility of where Antonov heads with this secondary frame. While talks continue about restoring the AN-225 to its rightful place as a flying beast one day, rumours around a secondary airframe and its status have long been present within the aviation industry. However, it looks as if we'll be waiting a little longer to get any further information on what truly happened with that from the source, as Antonov says this is related to defense industrial programs and is therefore of the interest of national security. As a result, Antonov did not disclose the information. The AN-225 was parked at the time of its destruction. With the impending invasion, one of probably the biggest questions surrounded Antonov and not ferrying the aircraft somewhere safe with the knowledge that it could potentially be destroyed. When I put that forward question to Antonov, they said that the possibility of saving the plane was interconnected with various pre-trial investigations of criminal proceedings. These proceedings are being conducted by several high-ranking governmental and police parties, which meant that as Antonov supports and complies with the authoritarian order, having the aircraft fly out was actually not possible, therefore it was grounded. What's next for the AN-225 is still very much up in the air. The company has signalled its intent to rebuild the fantastic transporter to its former glory. However, given the fragile situation in the country currently, there is actually only so much pre-work that can be done before they need to be on the ground and building the thing. Full work on the restoration of the giant, as stated by Antonov themselves, can only be done once the war concludes. If you'd like to read full answers and a transcript of the interview, head over to djsaviation.net where there's also further questions that have been answered that may be of interest to you. A massive thank you to United24 for making this video possible. And again, if you have any thoughts on the AN-225, a marvel of engineering and giant of the industry, you can leave your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this style of video, let me know and maybe there'll be room to make more. And we'll fly